Hi, we are MySoftware Solution. Today, we're going to make a payroll demo. Basically, the whole process is very simple and easy. As long as you have maintained well all the necessary fields, just by one click, you are able to process your month and payroll. Firstly, let us look for the file section. There is a company profile here. So this is all about the company's information because this is company profile page which contain company name, registration number. These are all necessary to fill in. All of these are basically about company information. For example, EPF, tax, SOCSU. These are required to be filled in accordingly as for others. Information under this company profile. So basically, after you have filled in these information, it means you have finished maintaining your company profile. After we have maintained the company information, then whose information can we maintain? Definitely is our employee. As you see, there is a maintain employee button. You can click it. After you click it, you will have a listing of all employees name will be showed here. For example, Lee Mi Ho. If Lee Mi Ho's job title is marketing, then we can insert in this column that he is a manager, then we can tick this checkbox. If he is not, then we just ignore it. Then we look at the personal info, it is all about his personal information. The most important column here is his date of birth, which means the date he was born. This is because his age will affect the contribution rate. For example, if 60 years old and above, it for sure will affect the contribution rate. So this is an extremely important section. Then this grouping section here is for boss to efficiently categorized employee. For example, like branch or management level, which all can be maintained in this section. Here we go to the most important section, that is payroll info. What is payroll info? This is an important section that will decide the calculation of your salary. For example, this wages type, by default setting it calculates by each month's salary. But if you want to make your salary auto calculated by hourly or daily, which means the salary is calculated based on one hour hourly or one day daily, all of these can be maintained. I assume that the salary calculation of this employee is based on monthly calculation. I can directly insert the amount of this employee's monthly salary in this column. Let's say Li Mi Ho's monthly salary is RM3000. Then other important information such as his EPF number, SOCO number. Does he have to contribute EIS? The answer is yes, because he is under the category of 18 years old and above. And he is not 60 years old. Then he also has to fill in his marital tax number. Marital status? No matter married or single, it will affect the category of tax contribution. That's why this is also an important part. Joint date and confirmed date are also very important because these will show in your report. Let's us give you an example. We have appointment, confirmation letter, and many different reports that could be helpful to you. Here we show you an example, the appointment letter. So as we can see, the phone number, name of employee and information will be auto-generated in this report. Let's say his salary is also generated automatically in this report. Therefore, this is a standardized report. But if, let's say you want to have different report, like a customized report, which is editable when needed, then let us proceed to allowance section. Over here, this is basically for fixed allowance. Because if he has fixed monthly allowance, then you do not have to maintain it every month. You just have to set up his payroll profile early when you are filling in his details. Then it will automatically post to your month end for every month. If let's say he do not have this allowance or contribute EPF, then you can untick it. But by right, our payroll system will tick it as default because it is usually compulsory for contribution. We also have a section which will store the employee's history. Let's say you have made amendment to the information of this employee or you have added some new information. Then system will auto capture and showed in this section. For example, the first record showed. When he first joined in this company, his monthly salary is RM2400. But after the confirmation, his salary increased to RM3000. So if I change his salary under payroll info there, system will auto capture that I have changed his monthly salary from RM2400 to RM3000. Of course, if I want to maintain some reference or history, can I do it? Of course is yes. Example, the last record said, warning, late to work over three days because he had been late to work for more than three days. So I would like to warn him. So I specifically add on this history to record that because of his lateness for three days, I have gave him a warning. All this, we can maintain it by ourselves. Just have to click the plus button, then fill in your own description and it is done. After all the information has been maintained, what should we do next? Of course, it's time for calculation of salary. Let's follow the arrow. We click this new payroll button. We are now going to process the month and payroll of October 2021. It's very simple and do not require any complicated process. Just click this process button. After clicking it, you will see this interface. We can see there is three left and five right. The three on the left side is for company usage. 
The five on the right side is those documents that you want to submit to the government, like EPF, EIS, SOCO, and etc. Firstly, let's look at print payslip. Payslip is a statement that you provide to your employee for their salary details. Then, now you can click this preview button to view the payslip. We have several type of report format, choose according to preferences. For example, here we show you one of the format for payslip. This one of format is considered as a payslip that show more detailed information. It contains information such as how many hours of total overtime, what are the deduction, number of leave type. All of these will be showed in this payslip one of format. This is a very detailed version report for payslip. Let's show you guys another format which is totally a simpler version of the report. For example, this to a format. This is actually a very simple format of payslip report. As everyone can see, it only shows the total amount but there is no detailed information shown in here. So this is a more simple format report. Therefore, you can pick whichever type of format report that you like. Next, we can proceed to payroll summary. For example, in payroll summary, your boss wants to check how much total salary was paid to the employees. How much are the bonus paid to every staff? How much are the allowance for every staff? All of these can be viewed in this summary. When you want to send this summary to your boss, it's very tiring as I have to download this first, then only able to WhatsApp or email it to boss. Do not worry, we have a special feature over here, which is also a new function. When you click this share icon, you can choose either WhatsApp to PDF or to Excel. We can use this feature to instantly use WhatsApp and send the document to your boss. It is very beneficial as you do not have to download it and repeat several complicated process. But let's say if I do not want to send it to the boss yet, but to save it first. Is it okay? Of course. We can see here there is an export button. Let's click it and you can choose whatever format you want to export it to. Example like PDF, Excel or text file. It is all available here. It depends on whichever type you prefer. There will be options available to be picked. Then we proceed to write options. Let us show you one of the examples. For example, EPF file submission. We must print a text file to submit to the EPF portal. We can see down here, there is submission of KWSB Borang A. Let's click it, then we are able to see this KWSB. After clicking it, this will be shown. Then, we just have to click the save button to export our file. It is a text file type. When we have to submit this document, we can choose this text file. Then we can submit it to EPF portal. It is very efficient for us. Instead of filling the details one by one manually at the portal, Basically, it only requires simple steps to proceed and this is all of the necessary reports that is available in here. Let us proceed to another situation. For example, Limi Ho is supposed to have overtime record here, but I have forgot to update it. What can I do? I can choose to key in here directly. I can key in here. Let's say he has a working day overtime. So let's say if he has worked overtime for two hours, I can key in here directly. The most important thing is we must save it. Those that we see in red color here, it is basically the auto calculation by our system. Therefore, additional changes are not required. It is very convenient for us as we can direct amend anything here. Then we have completed our employees month and salary calculation already. Basically, we have finished calculating our payroll month end as it only require these few steps to complete but there are also some additional features that could help you to have better efficiency. There is an open pending payroll under payroll field. What is this for? For example, not every employee will have all of these allowance, overtime and etc. for every day or every month. Therefore, whenever you want to maintain alternatively, you can come over this part. With this, you are able to early maintain. When month end, you process new payroll, it will automatically post to the month end section. For example, this allowance. Let's take this allowance as an example. This worker, Lee Mi Ho, he has an extra meal allowance of let's say around RM40. Because if he needs to work out of state, then only give him more a bit. After we have completed it, then we can save it. For example, I also want him to have this allowance for December. Can or not? Of course, we can maintain earlier. The most important thing is this post date. We can see that we can directly choose the month December. It also can be the same worker and same meal. Allowance is also the same, which is RM40. We can maintain all this earlier. Or another way, which is, you don't need to fill in one by one. For example, you have 10 workers. What would you do if all 10 of them have this allowance? Over here, you also can directly import the Excel file in here, which is copy and paste. You see, if you right click here, you can see a paste from Excel option. 
So we can copy our Excel list and directly paste it here. So you don't need to fill in so many things. There is another situation is for example, I am the HR manager. Then I have hired a lot of employees and then I won't have to do so much work already because if I need to maintain all of this myself, then my workload will be a lot, which I need all the employees to fill in these and help me maintain all these things. But I don't want to give them access to see the salary of other people. What can I do? No worries. Over here, we can also set the access rights in order to better limit what they can access to see or can it see editable or not. We also have an advanced security. For example, a company has different branches or different department responsible for different things. When you log into the payroll, he can only see the information of the people in his own department only. This is part of the advanced security and also an extra feature. So we have all these things that people can better utilize our payroll. Then we are back to this page. We go back to this payroll part. Then there is a government reports. This means that all the government required documents or reports all can be generated here. For example, this CP8D, we can click into it. When you want to apply for the year 2021, you can just click apply. Then it will show you all the values that have been done calculated. When you want to submit this document, you can press this submission here. It is a text file, so you just need to save it to where you want it to be. Then you can see the example shown here. It's when you are at the website, you only need to click upload. Then if you upload the text file, you can submit it after. Apart from that, we also have a special feature, which is the leave function. Leave application is when a worker wants to apply leave. You can help him make a leave application here. For example, Lee Mi Ho wants to take a leave because he had an argument with his wife. So we need to help him apply for leave using his annual leave. So we will click the date that he wants the leave. And when you have reached the annual leave apply limit, it will show this message to inform you to see whether you want to allow or not or transfer it to unpaid leave. For example, in this scenario, if we allow it, so we will let him take the annual leave. Of course, it will show here how much he is entitled and how much he has taken, how many days of balance is left. So everything will be informed to you here. But another scenario has occurred. Let's say if you have 100 workers and all of them wants to apply leave, do you need to manually do it one by one? If you think that it is troublesome, no worries. We have another solution for you, which is we actually have a mobile application. It is called eLeave. If your workers have downloaded the application, they can apply their leave there. Then you as a manager, you also can approve their leave from the application, which is a very convenient application. If you want to know more about the details, you can contact us anytime. Today's explanation will be until here. If you want to get more information, you can contact us. And of course, if you want to watch more tutorial video, you can head to our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. And if you like our videos, do not forget to like and share it to your colleagues and beloved friends. Thank you so much.